Greetings viewers, you're on the Crossmoda channel. I chose this video title for a reason. The opposed engine, or if you prefer, another name, the flat twin, has been installed on motorcycles since 1905. The first was this small machine called Fay, which was produced by the Light Motors Company from Britain. By 1907, this company was absorbed by the fairly well-known Douglas Company, which continued to produce motorcycles with this engine. And Douglas can rightfully be considered the company whose products served as an example for many other companies, including BMW. Nowadays, BMW and EMZ are the two companies that mass produce motorcycles with a flat twin engine. And as you can see, it is positioned along the axis of the motorcycle. It's been like this for a long time, at least since the late 1940s. Early on, these motorcycles had transversely mounted engines in their frames. Medul Type 1 is a modern luxury motorcycle, and its working prototype was shown to the public in 2014. This motorcycle's concept dates back to early boxer engines. Many companies and engines. So the first question is, why from 1905 to 1919 were such engines positioned exclusively across the axis of the motorcycle? To understand this, we need to dig a bit into the context. Early motorcycle designs were basically bicycles with a small engine, and for quite a long time, they didn't have any gearboxes. That's right, the force from the crankshaft was transmitted directly to the wheel. To transfer the torque from the shaft to the wheel as simply as possible with a chain or belt, the rotations had to be parallel. The disadvantages of this flat twin arrangement include the increased length of both the engine and the motorcycle, as well as, in certain cases, overheating of the rear cylinder. Although in many designs, the exposed flywheel served as a fan for forced cooling. In 1919, ABC introduced the first motorcycle with a longitudinal boxer engine. This layout offered a number of advantages. Cooling became more efficient, the length of the motorcycle was reduced, and there was more space for the gearbox. There were also some drawbacks. There was also the same reactive torque from the moving engine parts, and the risk of damaging the cylinders and heads in the event of a fall. By the mid-1940s, this layout had fully replaced the old one. The conservative Douglas was the last to give in in 1946. And here, about 60 years later, Me Dual Type 1 enters the scene with its interesting creation story. Yes, this is another story about a unique motorcycle. It costs a fortune and was produced in a very limited run for true connoisseurs. And most likely, this is another motorcycle that has no future. Its memory will live on in a few publications, magazines, and YouTube videos. However, it is primarily interesting because of its concept and engine. And we will examine this point in great detail. The Frenchman Olivier Midi, creator of the Mi Dual Type 1, placed the engine in his creation, almost like on the Douglas from a century ago but in a completely original way. In 1999, at an exhibition in Paris, the French company Mi Duel presented a motorcycle with an unusual configuration. The boxer engine was mounted across the motorcycle's axis at a 25 degree forward and downward angle. This arrangement of the cylinders lowered the motorcycle's center of gravity and eliminated the reactive torque typical of machines with a longitudinal engine layout. The motorcycle turned out to be of adequate length, and the use of a liquid cooling system eliminated the possibility of the rear cylinder overheating. However, at the time in 1999, the engine in this exhibition prototype was just a mock-up made of wood. A working prototype appeared much later, around 2013. Olivier Midi spent almost 20 years pursuing his dream. He became passionate about motorcycles at a young age. After receiving an engineering education, Mitty began working as a designer at a company producing automotive components. In 1992, he decided to start designing his own motorcycle. At first, he worked on it in the evenings in his free time. By 1994, he had received his first engine layout patent. 
Realizing that no one was eager to finance the project, he decided to support it himself and founded his own company for manufacturing car parts, which began supplying the assembly lines of Citroën, Peugeot, and Renault. In 1999, the first two prototypes of Mi Dual 875 were presented at the Paris Motor Show. As you already know with the engine mock-up, at that time, Midi found a working object with a volume of 875 cubic centimeters sufficient. The project generated quite a lot of interest and received good feedback. Brothers Olivier and Francois began looking for resources and funds to create a working motorcycle. Unfortunately, no wealthy sponsors were found, and in 2001, the guys decided to focus on making money for five years. Fortunately, the French automotive industry was thriving in those years. The five-year plan finished successfully, allowing them to resume the motorcycle project in 2006. But by that time, the 875cc version of the engine seemed unsuccessful to them, and Olivier designed a new 1036cc version of the engine. Eight more years passed before Midi's dream was realized and his leader-class opposed engine marvel was unveiled to the public. This happened in 2014, and a year earlier, the motorcycle was undergoing all kinds of tests at full speed. It has a two-cylinder opposed, short-stroke engine with 1.36 liters displacement, 100 mm in each cylinder diameter, and 66 mm piston stroke. The unit produces a maximum power of 106 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and a maximum torque of 100 newton meters at 5,000 300 RPM. The lubrication system of this engine uses a dry sump design for maximum lubrication efficiency of this interesting engine and to remove excess oil from the lower cylinder. The transmission is a six speed and it was precisely to properly accommodate this transmission that the engine was designed with a slight tilt. Otherwise, it's a luxurious design with a well thought out aluminum diagonal frame suspension with top components from Y-O-L-I-N Brembo brakes, and expensive finishing. The instrument panel alone is worth it, right? Olia Midi, as the head of the Midwell company in 2014, stated that by 2016, limited production of the unique motorcycle would begin. He started taking orders and advance payments for them. Midi planned to produce about 35 motorcycles in total. The price for this machine is around $140,000 to $160,000. According to the official website, by 2023, a specific number of Midual Type 1 motorcycles had been produced. The site also details the time needed for custom hardware or design modifications, as well as for building a custom version. There are also PDF files on the official website that show the manufacturing process of the machine. As I mentioned at the beginning of the story, the Midrel Type 1 turned out to be an expensive rarity with the series limited to 20 to 40 units. The engine concept, inspired by century-old technology and updated for today, is still interesting. It's possible that in the future we might see similar engines on other motorcycle models. That's the story, my friends, of a new take on the good old boxer engine. The story of the Midual Type 1 motorcycle. At this point, my story comes to an end. As always, this was Crossmoto Channel with you. Thank you for watching and also for your activity on the channel, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. A special thank you to everyone who supports my channel financially using the details provided in the description. See you next time.